TJ, thanks so much. The Pinpoint Weather Team tracking developments and cleanup after the damaging wind. We want to get an update with Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado. She's live this noon time in West Warwick. Brian, National Grid says most of the 37,000 customers who lost power yesterday have now been restored. That windy weather wreaking havoc all over the place, including here in West Warwick. National Grid continuing to restore power Tuesday after high winds knocked down trees and power lines, even boats on Monday. In West Warwick, a man was seriously injured on Wakefield Street. It appears he was driving in a regular lane of travel uh, when the tree uprooted and crushed on top of his car. That man was rescued with the jaws of life and taken to the hospital in serious condition. In Coventry, firefighters say the power outages caused a homeowner to use a portable generator for power, which caught fire, spreading to the house and engulfing it in flames. The fire department says everyone evacuated safely and no one was hurt. And National Grid says their workers weren't able to go up in those bucket trucks right away yesterday because of the high winds, but they were able to do work from the ground, cleaning up power lines and down trees until the winds died down enough for them to go up and do line work. Now, as of 10 a.m., National Grid tells me about 1,400 customers remain without power. Live in West Warwick, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.